Hi, welcome to a new episode of Tales from the Path. I'm Jessie Dujari, your host, and I'm super excited to invite Jean Ellis with us today. This is where you come to hear people's stories about their work, about their journey, about their growth and their development as they begin working more and more with that collective energy of source, that collective consciousness, that God energy, whatever you want to call it, it's that energy that's flowing through us all the time. I'm super excited to invite Jean in. Jean is the owner and um, creator of Your Healing Place, and she's been working for over 20 years in the field, and she's worked with some amazing people. So I'm super excited. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> oh, I'm also very excited to be here. Thank you so much. I really love that you've made this beautiful platform for people to share their stories. Thank you. It is my passion. I have always loved listening to people's stories. I love telling stories. And I think storytelling is something that we need a lot more of in our culture. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so first of all, I have to ask you because when I was looking through your photos, mm -hmm. I saw this picture of a dolphin, you with dolphin, and I know you live in Florida. And I am, my most intimate connection is, is really with the ocean. Um, I, when I meditate, I connect in with ocean creatures very easily. Um, so I would love to hear the story of how you got to hug a dolphin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that happens to be my anniversary day with my husband. But uh, what I want to share with you about that photo is that I had, um, at the time, I had an office uh, with four treatment rooms and so forth, a place to do workshops. And I had planned this trip to, to bring a class to the Bahamas and um, committed to that, very excited about it. And right before I was to leave the next day on the plane, I, well, it is a long story, but I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. You don't need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my intention for this healing center was a beautiful one with everyone connected and so forth. And sort of a game type moved in next door and I had such turmoil the day I was getting ready to leave because, um, you know, we're, we're, we're all, we, we all have fear, stress, emotions, pain, you know, past traumas and so forth. But I had a very traumatic day before I was to get on the plane to leave. Mm. And, um, and, but I, you know, I didn't want to cancel it. So in the middle of, um, you know, there was, there was so much turmoil in the middle of that and having a panic attack for the first time in my life to where I thought I was literally going to the hospital. I got, I got on the plane and, <sighs> and I was able to, even though I was scared out of my head <laughs> and, uh, due to my, you know, my, my, um, office door being smashed and so forth. Long story, but do, do, e even though all those things were happening and I had all those emotions, I feel so fortunate that I had the tools that I, you know, have been studying mm -hmm. over the years to bring myself back mm -hmm. into my center and also the support of my husband who mm -hmm. I've been very blessed to have all these years. Mm -hmm. And, um, went ahead and was able to teach the class and had never been brought there for uh, before for the first time and was on the radio and so forth. So I was able to center myself mm -hmm. and that was the moment where this is really amazing. We decided to, to experience this swim with the dolphins. That <laughs> dolphin, that dolphin right there. Oh, we were a group of us in the area, and the dolphin would go up to each person and give you a kiss. <laughs> and then back up, and then come up, and you got to heck hug the dolphin. Mm. Well, I had a lot of, even though I was able to bring myself into my center, those issues were not gone. You know, I still had to come back home and deal with a lot of things. Right. And um, which was overwhelming. And my heart was, you know, I was dealing with, I needed healing. 
Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. So we often knew that. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Each person got one kiss. That dolphin came over to me, it kissed me like five times. Yeah. <laughs> See that hug? And I just. Yeah. I, I, I was just receiving <sighs> that beautiful animal dolphin energy or animal. And this is not even like a. Yeah more than that but the beautiful healing energy and I was able to I, it's hard to put in words but I felt so loved and the beauty of the earth even though we have really tough traumas and challenges at times I was able to see the beauty again and then go forward and teach the class and have a beautiful class so that, that's a special teacher that's so awesome. I actually snuck this picture into this presentation. Jean didn't know I was doing it. I just kind of <laughs> found it on her page. You know for sure, so I'm glad you <laughs> I'm like, oh, that has to be in this. <laughs> I have to know the story of how that happened. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you for telling me that story. <laughs> that made me cry. <laughs> I, I, um, I have always been fascinated, and there was actually a fascinating uh, interview my husband heard on, I want to say it was Fresh Air many years ago, with a woman who uh, facilitates dolphin healing. You know, she does, oh, yes. she works with dolphins. Yeah and um, brings people in to swim with them and they and she's had um, her sister actually had a problem with her pregnancy she was pregnant at the time and they didn't know anything was wrong and she went in to get into the pool she was visiting her sister and she was like oh, okay i'll try you know and she got in and all the dolphins came around her and started mm -hmm. sounding through her and her sister was like, you need to go get that check. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong and something is really wrong. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that the baby had to have a complete blood transfusion as soon as it was born. Interesting. And because they were able to know in advance, they were able to collect the mother's blood over time. So it was just her blood that it was transfused with and they had enough to be able to do it right at the time. That, that is a beautiful story. <sighs> yeah. There's they know, you know. Mm -hmm. They're sensing so much we are not even aware of. They're the perfect, perfect energy workers. Absolutely. The perfect example of that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, the work that I do for people, I do a lot of animal uh, sessions also. Ooh. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? I love hearing well, about sure. I have another interesting story I can yes. share. About that. Please do. <laughs> So, so I, I do several different modalities, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I have a good friend that had moved into a new home, mm -hmm. a beautiful home, and I had done sessions for her little doggy, cute little thing, uh, several times because the dog was afraid of thunder, you know, <laughs> really, really terrified. Um, but she wanted me to come and do a house clearing for her and um i'm sure you you've heard of a house clearing with the sage and the sound and so forth and it's a beautiful thing and i so believe it's it's super important and i i do that but i do something a little bit different mm -hmm. i um i use the uh, lifeline which i'll share a little bit more later what lifeline is but i use that and some other modalities to actually find out any areas that are stagnant in the home or any traumas and so forth. But I, mm. I had originally gone not to do house clearing, but I originally gone to do another session for a dog. I'm jumping a little bit here. That's okay. But when I talked with a dog and I use a type of muscle reflex testing to dialogue with the subconscious mind. So I talked to the dog that way and listened and I found out the dog, before she adopted him, had had, um, you know, a trauma with mm -hmm. 
almost being choked and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I did some work with that. And then I found out that the dog was afraid of certain areas in the house. Ooh. So, oh, yeah. So I shared, I shared with her that, first of all, the dog's afraid of the air cleaners that you have in the bedroom and so forth. But there's an area that the dog is terrified of. She couldn't believe it because she said, well, oh, my gosh, he, he, he won't go there. <laughs> right? So right. Come to find out. So anyway, I did a clearing of the area. It was right where the pool comes in to the sliding glass doors on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I cleared it with the healing and mm -hmm. the lifeline and the things that I do. And then she just couldn't let it be. <laughs> so right. she decided to call the owners. I didn't really expect her to do that, but she decided to call the owners that had the house before she had it because she also had felt really deep, kind of like a, a depression, which is mm. not, not like her. Right. She's not really uh, a depressed kind of person. Uh, I mean, having those, that happen, she couldn't figure out why it was mm -hmm. going on. Right. So, so anyway, come to find out those, nothing happened those people but then she called the people before that and there had been a drowning in the pool oh. right into the door but anyway instead of focusing on that it's just that the fact that everything has everything is energy everything is vibration mm -hmm. all our surroundings and um i'm really passionate about the lifeline that i am able to do because rather than playing god I can actually muscle test and dialogue to the subconscious mind right. and find what needs to be um, harmonized. Right. So. That's really, I find what it's all about is finding what is seeing what is going on. What is the vibration that's here and bringing in something that harmonizes with it to change and shift it. It's, it's mm -hmm. like music. I, I think of it like jazz. You know, you, oh, you oh. go into the piece and then you find your way back out by finding the harmonizing and discordant, depending that what's necessary. That is such a beautiful way mm -hmm. to describe that. And um, some musician friends of mine, they actually showed me that the Chinese symbol for... Um, um, for healing is exactly, I mean, the Chinese symbol for spirit and music is almost exactly the same. Mm, that's beautiful. There's one teeny little stroke different. Uh -huh. So that's a beautiful way to describe it. Yeah. Um, well, one of the things I love about, um, about your work also is, is, is your strong connection to science, to documentation, to and also to the understanding of vibration and frequency you know that's one of the things when people start talking about the organization and frequency of things and and not about oh it's this dark spirit or this dark energy mm -hmm. that's when i'm like oh let's talk <laughs> we're, we're talking the same language yay <laughs> and that was one of the things i loved meeting you when we first i think we first talked a couple of years ago now mm -hmm. the first, when mm -hmm. i first contacted you and, and I I was so inspired by your story that when I started the show you were like popped right in my head oh, I want to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh well I'm um, so I am really so passionate about sharing you know with others um, mm -hmm. the I would say that the most important thing to me is no matter what modality you're doing, and I've done a lot of different modalities as a massage therapist and neuromuscular Reiki and so forth, but the most important thing is that love is the greatest healer. Mm. So everything is, you know, when you do it from here, mm. from heart. And that, and one of the reasons why I love the lifeline systems, it's not, I really don't even want to say a technique because it's more than a technique. It's a way of life because I use it every day, mm -hmm. you know? And so when I, you know, do the muscle testing, just because I want my, myself and my ego to be away out of it, you know, I'm mm -hmm. really 
talking to the um, the wisdom of the person's body, which knows everything that's going on all the time. Mm -hmm. But I'm using the power of infinite love and gratitude frequency to harmonize whatever needs to be harmonized. Mm -hmm. So it is, I'm going to show you that this you've seen, I'm sure it's the American sign language. I love you. Mm -hmm. This is very powerful because as you know, symbols do have a great energy and vibration. And uh, so I, am able to find out any emotions, traumas, anything in the subconscious mind, programming, past experiences that have been in there blocking the person from, from really living their greatest life of their greatest potential and having more joy in their life rather than just getting up, okay, the rat race, we have to do this in the survival mode you, to, to helping people thrive mm -hmm. and, you know, wow. just, just not, you know, just to share a little bit with you. I was, you know, how I can put it. I was born a very, very sensitive child and so forth. I, I did not have an easy time. You know, I even almost left this planet and your near death experience and so forth and had, you know, traumas, pain, you know, many different things. And the reason I'm sharing that is because you, you would be surprised. You're, you know, we're all one and people have so there, there's so much similarity in our stories, even though a little bit different here or there. Some right. more, the but details are different, but the theme is the same. The, 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 theme, the theme is the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. And, um, you know, and so all through this journey, I mean, I was very fortunate to learn about energy at a young age, and I did Reiki before I became a side and so forth. But... Um, I had a lot of, you know, fear, pain, <laughs> stress, dysfunction in my birth family and so forth and uh, many things. And, you know, it's easy to say, oh, well, I'm going to heal and oh, forgive, and I, which I have. And I've forgiven, yes, and I send love to, to those that didn't get me, you know, or whatever. Uh, okay. Or, yeah. yeah. Or the, the abuse or whatever. So mm -hmm. the thing is, I do, I don't, I don't hold resentment or anger. However, there was so much, even though I had done, had a lot of healing and worked on it for many years, there's so much that we can't see mm -hmm. right. that we don't even know that's in there. Exactly. Yeah. It's layer upon layer. Yeah. But of course the traumas were layered in there as we yeah. were raised. So. Absolutely, absolutely, and then another <coughs> mask and a mask and a mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, but the defenses are well built. <laughs> that, that's for sure. So unless you know, unless we're able to, you know, discover those things and harmonize it, then it seems. You know, it's it's being in a stuck place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not even knowing how, not even knowing how to get out. So that is what I like to teach because I do teach as well as seeing clients. So mm -hmm. my passion is teaching, and this yeah. is what I teach in the um, Lifeline Ignite program. I teach people how to uh, even, no matter how painful, scary, stressful life is has been or will be because you you will have pain yeah. you will have stress yeah you're living <laughs> <laughs> you're still gonna experience you're it human. you're human you're here mm -hmm. and by the way your life has meaning yeah it has meaning so every single uh pain fear stress physical challenge is actually a portal or a doorway 
to become your greatest potential. That's what I like to help people with and teach people how to do it and how to use the, the lifeline every day. So would you like to yes. experience that? Yes, please. Okay, okay, so you guys, we are so, we're so excited. Okay, everybody is excited who's watching this, oh. but I'm just gonna okay. speak for them. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put you in speaker view so that you can oh. guide us. <laughs> so, all right so the very first thing that we want to do and we're going to do it together is called the connection and the reason we do this is because it's so easy not to be in the present moment thinking about past or future and kind of like being in the rat race so this is a beautiful way to harmonize all your energy fields the chakras the meridians and and by the way this whole system was developed by dr darren weissman who i'm trained directly with and he i'm it's a, such a beautiful beautiful thing but we're going to do this connection together and you're going to take one hand and it does it doesn't matter which one you're going to take all your fingers and i don't know if you could see me well here if you can't let me know you know, I can't see your hand up there, so okay, let show me us what up. position and then go up. Mm -hmm. Can you see me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, let me know. Yeah. So you're going to take some breaths, and you're going to take one hand and place all fingers on your crown, top of your head. This is your spirit, and your spirit is pure love. And you're going to take your other hand, and you're going to place it in the... I love you and place it on your right okay. here in your body and it's perfect. And you're going to place it right here on, on your, your chest, on your chest, on your body. And what we're going to do is we're going to harmonize your spirit with your body, which is made to heal, regenerate and be whole. And we do this by saying, together infinite love and gratitude so repeat after me infinite, infinite love, love and gratitude infinite love, infinite love and gratitude. gratitude you're going to take your hand off of your crown just for a second and place it back on your crown and now body to spirit your body which is made to heal regenerate and be whole with your spirit which is pure love repeat after me infinite love and gratitude infinite love and gratitude now both hands come off just for a second and place it back and we're harmonizing your field of your spirit with your body. We say together, infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Now one hand comes on your mind. This is your mind of infinite possibilities harmonized with your body. And we say together, infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude. And one hand comes off of your mind and place it back. And now we're harmonizing our body with our mind. And we say together, infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude. Both hands come off and we place it back and we're harmonizing the field of our mind of infinite possibilities with our body which is made to heal and be whole we say together infinite love and gratitude infinite love and gratitude now let's just bring our hands down and take a nice breath in and an exhale and now we're going to take our I love you hand and we're going to place it to Mother Earth. Now, we need to be connected here and grounded to Mother Earth. And the more that our body, our mind, and our spirit is harmonized with Mother Earth, the more that we can thrive.
So let's place our hand down to Mother Earth with the I love you. One hand right here on the body. We're harmonizing our body to Mother Earth. So repeat after me. My body is thriving. My body is thriving. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And now your hand comes up here to your mind. Oh, my, mind. After me. my mind is thriving. My mind is thriving. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Beautiful. Now bring your hand up to your spirit up here with your crown and repeat after me. My spirit is thriving. <sighs> My spirit is thriving. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Beautiful. And now take another beautiful breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now, I'd like you to take your hands and place them in the universal position for prayer and just connect to your faith, whatever it is. I, I like to call it the field of oneness. So, as well as being connected to Mother Earth, we also need to be connected to that beautiful field of oneness. So, I'd like you to repeat after me. I am one with my body. I am one with my body. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And now bring your prayer position hands up to your forehead and repeat after me. I am one with my mind. Oh, I had the boobs some energy there. I am one with my mind. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And now bring your hands up to your spirit and repeat after me. I am one with my spirit. I am one with my spirit. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And now just slowly bring your hands down. Take some more beautiful breaths and just shake it out. And how does it feel in the present moment? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I know. I have a few little tingles running down. Ah, uh, uh, so I, I, that is the step number one of the lifeline. We always do that first. And I do this every day because when I wake up in the morning and I do this before I start my day, mm. it is amazing. Mm -hmm. how no matter what's going on around me i'm just much more in my center and things seem to go much more smoothly and this is very powerful and it seems like a lot of steps but when yeah. you rocks it you can do it very quickly mm -hmm. i really noticed the how when you place the hand, remove it, and bring it back. It is such a great way to bring that energy and attention and focus back into that. It's like, it's, it's very much bringing that back in online, bringing the energy back online. Mm -hmm. And uh, the harmonizing, you could really feel it while you were doing thank that. You. Yes, thank very you. Very cool. Very it's, cool. It's, it, really, it really is a, a shift, a, a big shift in the energy fields, the that's so moving energy. Sorry, I yawn and, and weep whenever I do energy work. Uh, that's fantastic. I know I also feel, I'm, I'm one of those feeling kind of people too, so I know exactly what you're talking about. And, you know, those, those of you, you know, um, listening in, you know, even if you don't feel it like that, everybody has their own way of experiencing it. Yeah. And this is just really just, like a tune-up, a big tune-up. Exactly. Yeah. So now, I'd like to just start here, Jesse, so that you can experience the um, what the Lifeline Ignite is, is about. So I'd like to just ask you, 
So that's the first thing we do. Um, and I, I, you see, I'm, well, before I ask you and start going, I'm going to share, share with you. I don't know. Can you see my finger? Um, just your thumb. Like I can see it like this. Can you see? Well, yeah. Can you move mm -hmm. over? Oh, kind well, of. Tell me where I need to move. If you put it like right here to your side and up a little bit, back and up. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. on my screen. Wait so you're doing this? Yes. Well, that's, I got to get my glasses here. Hold on. <laughs> what <it> is, <laughs> um, no, I use muscle testing several different ways. Oh, I mm -hmm. arm. <clears throat> oh I so you're doing muscle testing. You're pressing to see if this finger stays rigid, that's a yes. And if the finger right. bends, it's a no. Well, whenever it goes weak, sometimes <coughs> it's hard. Right. And by the way, it's very accurate. This is different yes. than applied kinesiology, mm -hmm. um, where you have an agenda. Is this mm -hmm. good for me? Is this bad? Is, is it, you know, so forth? Because we're going straight to that, you know, subconscious. So yeah. it's very accurate. There's no guessing. And um, I'm going to be muscle testing okay. while I'm doing this. So. Uh, but now I'm going to testing was the first way I was taught how to listen to and connect with my guides. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have had experience with muscle testing before. Have you seen that just since we talk about it before we get into it and then since other people are going to be watching and listening. So what she's doing when she's muscle testing, the fingers are this, what the, the premise is, is that your body doesn't have the mechanism to create a lie. Your body cannot lie to you. Your body can only say, I am strong because this is truth. I am weak because this is not truth. So any muscle testing is essentially that. So there's this method of pressing the finger. And another one is putting your hands in a ring. And if you can't pull them apart when you pull, you're telling truth. But if you tell a lie, like, I hate chocolate, well, you know, that's not true. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the clarification. Yes, yeah, so it's, you know, I've been doing muscle testing for a very long time. And, uh, but if you were in person, I would be using your, your arm mm -hmm. and doing it a different way. But this is best for how we're doing this here. And um, so, Jesse. I would like you to say out loud, love, love, love. Love, love, love. And, and you're going to hear me say, hold strong. Okay, so you're very strong. The body just, oh, the, the body loves love, you know? So it's strong. Now, I'd like you to say fear, fear, fear. Ooh, fear, fear, fear. In hold strong. Well, it goes weak. So infinite love and gratitude. Go back to love, love, love. Love, love, love. In hold strong. Okay, so Jesse, what I'm going to be doing is whenever I see that something needs to be harmonized, I am literally going to give you infinite love and gratitude, the frequency of love. And that goes in like a laser beam and instantly harmonizes what needs to shift. And we'll share about the science a little later, but right now I just want to go with this beautiful uh, healing session right now. So, okay. Whoa, that was strong. <laughs> You're starting to frequency already. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. So, now Jesse. And there is a little bit of dialogue in the Lifeline Ignite. So I'm going to ask you, to, sorry. how is your body talking to you today with any physical symptoms? Well, it's actually, I've, my body feels very neutral today. My feet have had a little bit of achiness in them, actually. Okay. Your feet are a little bit achy? Mm -hmm. Both yeah. of them? Yeah. Okay. And so I can appreciate that. On a scale of zero to 10, zero being the least and 10 being like way up there, how would you rate that achiness? I would say it's like a two or three. About a two, three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And any other ways that your body's talking to you with any physical symptoms? No. Okay. 
All right, that's Sherry. all they want to do with. <laughs> no, they like, you get this, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is perfect. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes. Take a breath. And I like to think about your your life stresses, your relationships in your life, your life stresses. Okay. And as you connect to the stresses in your life and your relationships, just share with me what emotion does that make you feel? And just share that emotion that comes up. Hmm. Well, there's, there's some fear. There's some fear and a little bit of powerlessness. Okay. So the fear that came up on a scale of zero to 10, how would you rate that fear? Hmm. Well, six is popping my head, so I'll say six. Okay. Right. And just see what pops in. There's no need to analyze or anything. So, okay. And the powerless, powerless emotion Mm. how would you rate that on a scale of zero to ten seven Mm. and that's about a seven okay any other emotions coming up when you think about your life stresses love beg your pardon love love Love. and how would you rate that Mm. nine it's about a nine. Okay, excellent. That's beautiful. So, Jesse, now you can, unless there's something else that you want to share with me, and by the way, if there's something that you, that else pops up, whether it's a physical uh, or life stress, emotional life stress, and you don't want to share it, we could just call it a mystery symptom. So is there anything else you want to share with me? Any mystery symptoms? I guess there is a mystery symptom, but I don't know what it is. Okay. It's a mystery to me too. Oh, okay. So I'll write that there is a mystery symptom. Now, how would you rate on a scale of zero to 10, how much that bothers you? Oh, wow. That was big. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting an eight. Eight. So that's that's really pretty up there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So thank you for sharing that with me. Now you can open your eyes. Mm. And Jesse, I'm going to ask you sort of a silly question. Okay. Okay. The question is, would you ever wake up in the morning and make a conscious decision to have achy feet? No. And the emotion of fear at a six and powerless at seven and a mystery symptom at eight? No. Mm -mm. Well, absolutely not. That's why it's a silly question, you know. Okay, so because because you did not wake up and make this decision to consciously feel this way, that tells us this is coming from the subconscious mind, you know? And the subconscious mind is just reacting. It's just reacting with a pattern of reaction from our past programming and emotions and all those things. So if you could make a decision rather than reacting from that subconscious patterns and you could have your subconscious mind follow you. Would you do that? Yes. And I just got a stabbing pain from the back of my shoulder blade into my sternum. Okay. Well, I'll put (sighs) that down on your symptoms. Is what, which side is it? To the right, just to the right of center. Right shoulder blade. How would you rate that? Uh, 
Yeah. Sorry. God, this is really pulling stuff out of me, you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Well, when it first came on, it was like a seven, but now it's easing back to like a three or four. Okay. So it's, it's, it's changing back and forth mm -hmm. between three, four, and seven. Doesn't like being looked at. Okay. So the good thing about this, Jesse, is this is really gentle and it's content free and so forth. So we'll be able to find out what is manifesting those symptoms because this is like a gift. Yes. It's a gift in strange wrapping paper saying, hey, there's something energetically that needs to be addressed. So it's actually a beautiful thing that, you, that we receive things so that we can awaken. So now we've already, we already know that you wouldn't choose to feel this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you make an attention of where you want to be rather than what you don't want because that way it's so much more powerful so close your eyes and from your heart's desire and your soul's purpose it would i'm gonna take you to the land of i am it would be i am blank what would that be from your heart's desire an intention of where you'd like to be rather than what you don't want. I am whole. Beautiful. I am whole. Okay. So are you ready to use your imagination now? Mm. Okay. So Jesse, you are whole. Just imagine the things that you would be doing in your life being whole. You, your words are words of wholeness. Your thoughts are thoughts of wholeness. Your cells just vibrate with that beautiful energy of being whole. And you know you're vibrating so much with that wholeness, that even the people around you start to feel more whole just being around you. So being whole, what emotion does it make you feel? And share with me that emotion. Joy. Joy. So you have just made a beautiful intention from your heart's desire. I am whole feeling joy. So now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the lifeline to muscle test and find out anything that's blocking you from manifesting your beautiful intention. So I'd like you to repeat after me. Regardless of regardless of my of your symptoms you know your feet being achy and the fear and powerlessness regardless of these symptoms and stressors i am now choosing to feel whole to be whole feeling joy so i'm going to repeat it again i would like you to repeat after me regardless of symptoms and stress Regardless of, of fear, symptoms and stress. The fear and, and feeling powerless. The fear and powerlessness. I am now choosing. I am now choosing. To feel joy. To feel joy. And now muscle testing holds strong. And so it goes weak. I'm going to give you infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude, Jesse. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. I'd like you to repeat after me. Regardless of fear and stress, I am now choosing to feel joy. Regardless of fear and stress, I am now choosing to feel joy. And hold strong. And you have shifted beautifully. So we have harmonized the subconscious mind now of the 
present. And now we are going to harmonize your subconscious mind of the past. So repeat after me. I am whole. I am whole. For the very first time in my life. For the very first time in my life. Right now. Right now. And I'm learning to love. And I'm learning to love. The past part of me. The past part of me. Who have protectively never chosen. Who protectively never chosen. To feel joy. To feel joy. Ooh. Hold strong. <coughs> Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude and hold strong. I'd like you to repeat after me. I am whole. I am whole. For the very first time in my life. For the very first time in my life. Right now. Right now. And I'm learning to love. And I'm learning to love. The past part of me. The past part of me. Who protectively keeps forgetting. Who protectively keeps forgetting. That feeling joy is a choice. The feeling joy is a choice. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And hold strong. And I'd like you to just repeat after me. I am whole for the very first time in my life. I am whole for the very first time in my life. Right now. Right now. And I'm learning to love the past part of me. And I'm learning to love the past part of me. Who has protectively never chosen. Who has protectively never chosen. To feel joy. To feel joy. Hold strong. And you are strong and you've shifted beautiful. So now, Jesse, we've raised the consciousness of the past. Oh. Now. I would like you to repeat after me. I am feeling joy. I am feeling joy. And hold strong. Awesome. And you are. You're strong. Infinite love and gratitude. You're already there. I don't even need to harmonize the subconscious. You're already there. Beautiful. Oh. Awesome. Now I'd like you to repeat after me. I am. I am joy. I am joy. I am whole. I am whole. It's my nature. It's my nature. And hold strong. <laughs> infinite love and gratitude. Because it goes we infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. I'd like you to repeat after me. I am joy. <sighs> I am joy. I am whole. I am whole. It's my nature. It's my nature. And hold strong, and you are. So that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so you shifted beautifully. And so now, Jesse, I would, you know, how we experience things in our life, we see, feel, hear. So in order to be complete, and you know, this is so beautiful. I'm really happy that we're doing this and <laughs> finding light. You really are. And it's just such a pleasure to be here experiencing this with you and sharing with you. And so because we experience things in three ways, you know, we see, we feel, and it's beautiful. It's just, a, you know, just, just let it, let the body do what it needs to do and trust that you're doing exactly what you need to do. So I'd like you to, to reconnect to the initial symptoms. The initial symptoms that we rated on a scale of 0 to 10, you know, the physical symptoms. So just reconnect that to that. Your feet, you know. And what emotion comes up when you observe the symptoms that you shared with me in the beginning? Well, there is just this twinge of sadness. Okay. Or I think like a morning, like a sense of morning. 
twinge of sadness and a mourning, okay. And um, the also mystery symptom connect to that. Yeah, and when you said that, this little kind of just this weird sensation in my side, just below my rib cage, my abdomen on the left side. Okay, so up. as you connect and you notice that your body's shifting while you're doing this beautiful um, healing, um, so the emotions that came up were sadness and your physical body shifting infinite love and gratitude. So I'm going to muscle test, hold strong, it gives way. I'm going to give you some infinite love and gratitude infinite love and gratitude infinite love and gratitude so jesse as you connect to the sadness that you shared with me kind of like <clears throat> a morning feeling place your hand in this i love you mudra and place it over your heart as you connect to the emotion of sadness See the thoughts, the memories, and any, any images that come up from looking inward at this emotion of sadness. And as these emotions come up, keep giving your beautiful heart infinite love and gratitude. We're replacing it with this beautiful frequency of love and let me know when you feel a shift. I feel the shift. Infinite love and gratitude. Now, Jesse, I'd like you to feel. Feel the emotion of sadness. Feel what it feels, feels like to be in this emotion. And notice how it affects your breathing, your posture, your heart rate. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel this emotion of sadness in your body? Well, it's almost like I can't find it now. <laughs> Wonderful. So infinite love and gratitude. So just continue to give yourself that beautiful frequency of love over your body, infinite love and gratitude. And I'm muscle testing holds strong you're strong you've had a beautiful shift now so hear the voice of the emotion of sadness what's it saying to you it has it's wanting me to let go of oh. the feeling of a need to mourn and instead to recognize the beauty and the lessons Beautiful, infinite love and gratitude. Just continue to place your I love you hand over your heart and repeat with me infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite, infinite love, love and gratitude. Infinite, infinite love and gratitude. and gratitude. Until you no longer hear that voice of sadness and replace it with the frequency of love. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And hold strong and you shifted. Beautiful, beautiful job, Jesse. Now take some breaths. <sighs> We're almost there. <laughs> almost there. Wow. <laughs> now, Amazing. I'd like you to reconnect to the life stresses that you initially shared with me. The life stresses in your life, in your relationships. And I'd just like you to share with me when you reconnect to that, what emotion does it make you feel? Gratitude. Gratitude. Beautiful. So we have gratitude, infinite love and gratitude. And as you connect, because you're strong, the muscle test is strong. As you connect to the emotion of gratitude, I'd like you to place your hand in the I love you over your heart and say infinite love and gratitude. Love and and just gratitude. feel that gratitude in your heart, infinite love. love. Gratitude. And 
infinite love and gratitude and hold strong. Now I'd like you to see, see the thoughts and the memories and images that come up from looking inward at the emotion of, it, of, of gratitude. And as these images come up, continue to put the I love you, infinite love and gratitude over your beautiful heart of gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude, and I'm must attesting, and you're strong. Jesse, I'd like you to feel, feel what it feels like to be in the emotion of gratitude. Notice how it affects your breathing, your heart rate, your posture. And as you notice your feelings of connecting to gratitude, place your hand, I love you, over your heart as you feel the gratitude. And hold strong, and you're so there. And now I'd like you to hear your, the voice of the emotion of gratitude. What's it saying to you? Oh, I'm so grateful that you showed up for this meeting. <laughs> wow. Oh, and, I, and I'm so grateful for you. Wow. And I'm, I'm truly grateful. Infinite love and gratitude. As you notice that voice and what's being said, just give yourself some more infinite love and gratitude over your beautiful heart. Wow. Infinite love and gratitude, infinite love and gratitude, and hold strong. You're beautifully strong. Oh, my goodness. So now I'd like you to connect to your emotion, your intention. I mean, you reconnect to the intention that you made, your beautiful intention. I am whole, feeling joy. So as you reconnect to the intention that you made from your heart's desire and your soul's purpose, what emotion comes up as you inwardly observe the conscious intention that you've created? Gratitude. Gratitude. And hold strong. Infinite love and gratitude, because you need a little harmonizing. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. And we're going to walk through the see, feel, here with the gratitude one more time so that we make sure that you have shifted completely and there's no gap in the subconscious mind. So manifest in your life the gratitude of your intention and your beautiful intention. I am whole, feeling joy. So see the thoughts, <coughs> the memories, and the images that come up from looking inward at this emotion of gratitude. And as they come up, place your I love you hand over your heart as you see this beautiful emotion of gratitude until you feel a shift let me know when you feel a shift. And hold strong, infinite love and gratitude. And you can let me know by saying infinite love and gratitude. Infinite when love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude holds strong. And now feel what it feels like to be in the emotion of gratitude. And notice how it's affecting your entire body, how it feels, mm. how your breathing is, how your heart rate is, how your posture. Notice your feelings and place the I love you until you feel a shift and let me know you're there by saying infinite love and gratitude thank you 
infinite love and gratitude. And hold strong. And yes, you're there. And hear the voice of the emotion of gratitude. What's it saying to you, Jesse? Good job. Good job. Absolutely. Infinite love and gratitude. As you hear, good job. Place the I love you hand over your heart and just keep repeating infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude until you feel a shift. And let me know you're there by saying infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love. Gratitude. And hold strong. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, so strong. Infinite love and gratitude and good job. It's such a pleasure. Now we're going to, we have raised the consciousness of the things that were in the subconscious mind that's blocking you from your intention. Now I'd, have, I'd like to have you stand okay. with me. And you are going to, I don't know if you can see me, let me know, but you are going to do something called the cross crawl planner. I need to stretch. Stretch first, stretch first. <laughs> oh, my whole back and spine just popped. <sighs> I'm actually going to check the field, your field. I'm going to check the microcosmic orbit around you to see, I'm muscle testing again, to see if there's any gaps there. Okay, so I'm just checking. Hold strong, hold strong, hold strong, hold strong, hold strong, hold strong. Right up here at the crown. So I'm going to give you some infinite love and gratitude. You can do it with me by putting the I love you. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Woo! Infinite love and gratitude. And I'd like you to walk with opposite leg and opposite arm it's walk and breathe walk and breathe 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 oh, this is so good walk and breathe walk and breathe oh, okay excellent now we just stop and take some nice deep breaths Woo. and i'd like you to repeat your intention I'm I'm Feeling joy. Feeling joy. And, and you are so strong. You actually believe it now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and now you can have a seat. Fantastic. Wow. So, that was awesome. Thank you. Now, we just have something else I want to. We just, I just had you say your beautiful intention and. Whereas before, the subconscious did, could not even possibly believe it. Your muscle testing now to show that you're absolutely strong. So now, because you must believe, be able to do that for it to manifest. You're strong. So I'd like to share with you too, Jesse. And good job, because I mean, you know, we have to feel to. I mean, we have to feel to heal. You know, yeah, and you did, and you made a choice. To do this with me and thank you. Oh, well, I have to tell you, I have had congestion in my chest for a long time, and I can feel it releasing now. It's awesome. Oh, thank you for sharing that. <sighs> beautiful, really, really beautiful. Um, I I would like you to know too that you you know all these beautiful things that have happened. We. We need to do the things of self-love, which I'm sure you already know. You know, you're, you're already aware of that. We all can use reminders. <laughs> yes. And I'm just going to muscle test just to see how you're doing on those things, okay? So it would be water. Hold strong. Water. Hold strong. Well, there needs to be a little bit of um, improvement. Uh, <clears throat> it's more frequent. Uh -huh. Not about the quality, but More maybe frequent. not waiting so long, you know, in between. So mm. um, nutrition, nutrition, that seems to be good. Um, um, sleep, rest, hold strong. Rest seems to be good. Exercise holds strong. And there's needs some a little more um, improvement in the exercise area. And it doesn't have to be something that, you mm -hmm. know, is. 
just hard to get motivated to do. Mm -hmm. It could be anything that you just enjoy, whatever yeah. it is, you know, dancing, I don't know, qigong, anything. Yeah. Just a little more movement. Yeah. And um, the other thing is owning your power. So owning your power holds <laughs> That one needs a little, okay, so what is it? Honey? <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> You're like the fourth message of this in the two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does only your power mean to you? Uh, I guess. What does it mean to you? Well, I know what the fear that blocks me from owning my power is. Okay. Um. And that is a uh, fear of being uh, um, in my ego, too much in my ego. I see too many people who hold their power, like, to look at me, I'm awesome. And my fear is to ever be anything like that. And okay. I know I hold a lot of power and that um, also I've always been trained to dim the light, you know, to dim it because mm -hmm. it makes you vulnerable. I understand. Well, so you're, I'm going to say that, the, you know, to work on the water and a little more movement, but also mm -hmm. to be aware of um, <clears throat> owning your power also is about, you know, being true to your, yeah, being true to yourself and saying no and those kind of things. So that would be something I would ask you to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, doing these things along the session is, it's, is very helpful and yeah. um, but the the thing is too what you just shared with me that whatever it is that you wish to address and and go forward and not being stuck anymore that what you just shared um this is actually what i what i can share in a one or a one and a half day workshop where i teach people to do this so you could actually learn how to do a lifeline ignite on yourself mm -hmm. for whatever uh, you want to manifest that. Mm -hmm. So, but um, I, I, so I would like to, before we um, completely close this, this, the session here, I would like you just to close your eyes and connect to the things that you shared with me initially and just observe. What do you notice? Everything is just very calm and peaceful and relaxed right now. Beautiful. And, you know, that's what I hear all the time after the Lifeline session is that either people say, well, I can't even connect to that stuff anymore, or it's, it's less intense or it's more peaceful, yeah. you know. And so there's been a, a beautiful shift. So I'm very excited to be able to share this with you today. And Thank you. It's a pleasure. You really are. You know? Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm very, <laughs> very grateful, you know, to, to be just grateful and blessed to be sharing this. That was awesome. I, you know, one of the things that I think people tend to get stuck in is when when we do our own energy work we tend to think well I can take care of myself I can do it for myself exactly. but we really can't mm -hmm. it's it, it yes you do have to always commit to doing self work you have to always commit to being observational being aware uh, trying to be present and noticing when you're out of alignment with yourself but there are so many things that we have spent a lifetime learning how to not look at uh, that exactly. we need other people to come oh, in. We need maybe. other modalities because they out trick us. They out think us. They outwit yes. our survival <laughs> and <laughs> hiding mechanisms that are well in place. That's because, the truth. <laughs> That's the yeah. truth. No man is an island. No. Not, no. And we are all connected. And so we need each other. Yeah. And, and, you know, and it took me a long time. It really did take me a long time to realize as a person that, um, you know, I'm very passionate about helping others. But it took me so long to realize that I really need to ask for help when I need it yes. from exactly. other people. And exactly. 
And yeah, because the things that I thought that I had been work that I had healed when yeah. I went to studying the uh, with Dr. Darren the um, Lifeline, I was just amazed at the things that were in there that came up that I I thought, well, yeah, I didn't think that was, you know I didn't think that was in there. Infinite love and gratitude. So I yeah. will. And the other thing that you said, which is so important i'm so glad you said it that it's a daily awareness mm -hmm. of hey okay i feel really nervous this morning mm -hmm. and all right don't push it away acknowledge it say yes it's there be in tune with what's going on your emotions but then you have a choice mm -hmm. do i want to stay there no. So using the frequency of love to harmonize it to what would you rather, where would you rather be? Mm -hmm. Make your intention for each day where you'd rather be. So even if you haven't, you know, um, uh, taken the, the course yet, you can use this. So if I, I want everyone to know that right now you have so much power in your hand. Feel what you're feeling. And this is the mood. This is like a mood draw, basically. Well, it is, and I would love to go into the science of it because, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. it's. I, I know we have a certain amount of time, so I don't know how we're at, where we're at, but because. Well, I, let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. I'm oh, gonna go ahead and bring up some of the. Um, tell me if we have, yeah, what? We have time to talk about that. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and talk about what's up on the okay. screen? Okay. Okay. This this is just phenomenal because. Uh, the reason why this works is based on the science of epigenetics and of doctor, you know, many, there's about 17 different modalities in the lifeline technique and including Dr. Emoto. Now, some of you may not have heard of him before, but he um, was very he was good friends with Dr. Darren. He passed uh, not too long ago, but I so I'm so grateful for what he did because he discovered that water is like a liquid tape recorder and he took samples of water from many different places and he put them in jars and he put words I love you on one jar and I hate you you make me sick on another jar and he left it overnight and then he froze, he took the samples out of each jar and he froze the water and he had a special type of photography and the water that had love and beautiful words on it made beautiful crystals. And the ones that said, I hate you, you make me sick, made these big ugly holes in these horrible looking things. So this, this was just amazing that he discovered this. He did a lot of research with also music and many different mm -hmm. things and prayers. And so we're beings of water and light. So literally, when we give the frequency of infinite love and gratitude, it literally changes your RNA, your DNA, your cells, your blood cells. Actually, I have some pictures here. Um, of, of the blood cells from Dr. Darren's book, The Power of Infinite Love and Gratitude, that shows people with different illnesses and challenges before the lifeline, the blood is just stuck together and really ill, and then afterwards they're clear and clean and beautiful. And there's a lot of research for, for you know, thir what, 13, 14 years mm -hmm. to the science of this um, yeah, they've also done it where they've taken food and put food oh. in a jar and put labels on it and you know the food that was labeled with love just stays looking perfectly preserved for months and the food labeled with hate mm -hmm. it's already covered in black mold and rotting yes and yes very quickly and you could even try that at home that's true and in in imagine and well of course in the 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 plants, when you give them love, they thrive. And when you just, eh, old plant, you know, they don't, they don't grow well. I actually, I've seen that. I'm growing um, lemon trees with, from seeds. Oh, and wow. 
I actually, I actually, I don't want to breathe, but I actually broke my legs <laughs> a while back. So I, I wasn't able to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And you should have seen the little trees. They look mm -hmm. terrible. As yeah. soon as as soon as I healed from my leg and I started giving him them love again, you should see them. They're like, whoo, like this. So, you know, it's, it's really true. And we've just been programmed that, oh, no, this can't be possible. How can, if, how can this be so powerful to change ourselves? But it does. Um, but Dr. Bruce Lipton, and I've been very fortunate to meet him, and I really admire him. Um, he has... Oh, he has proven that your emotions and your beliefs go into the cell, into the protein receptor, and it goes up to the brain and actually tells the brain what to manifest in the physical body. So all that old, um, you know, the old, old science of what we've been told just, <clears throat> it just isn't true um, because it's, you're not, you're not, we're no longer victims, you know, right. we're not stuck with even our genetics, which right. you know, people think, oh, well, this great, great uh, grandmother or grandfather had this, and, and I'm sure I have this. It's absolutely not the truth. Um, so the lifeline technique is based on, on a lot of, <sighs> I mean, it's, it's just huge. The science um, of epigenetics and also Candace Pert. Some of you might have heard of molecules of emotions is another scientist that has shown that it changes our, our cells and our physical body. Yeah. I so, think that it's really important that people start to become more and more aware of this because we, uh, we do, there is a sense of powerlessness in our, especially in the American culture right now, and that we're just subject to the whims of whatever's going on around us. That's the right. illusion that you're being taught to believe. And if <laughs> you believe it, then yes, you're going to be perpetuating powerlessness in your body, which yeah. as we just went through, that's the one that's hidden. That's the one that doesn't really show itself. It undermines you from behind and you're not even aware of it until you're already disempowered. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you say the one that's hidden because I've seen it over and over again with clients yes. um, that um, an example would be, and this is some, some, this is a case study, someone in their mid seventies had um, physical uh, physical manis uh, manifestation of some pain and issues and the reproductive and many other things. Well, doing, being able to go and find the hidden things where at age five, there was, um, you know, sexual abuse and so forth. This person had not been able to process these emotions and it, the physical symptoms did not manifest until the age it's, which seemed out of nowhere, it really wasn't until the mid 70s. So we were able to go in and harmonize the um, past experience in a very gentle way. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so the physical symptoms disappeared, you know, yeah. but it really is hidden. And yes. people, well, where did that come from? But really, it, you. It, <laughs> You know, things can trigger it to yeah. that. You know, so. when I was first um, starting to do this work, um, I personally am a, I have a, a pretty extensive childhood history of sexual molestation and um, a lot of abandonment. And, you know, I, I, had, I learned how to survive on my own really very young. And as a result of that, I had all kinds of chronic pains. And that was really what got me into the healing, into healing work was just trying to figure out, okay, I go to the doctor and they don't tell me anything is wrong. There's really mm -hmm. nothing wrong. My cholesterol was a little bit high at the time, but that was it. There was, my blood pressure was great. All of my numbers were good and they could never find anything wrong with me, but I mm -hmm. felt like I was dying. I was convinced I was dying. And when I started to really do energy work on this and start getting into the root emotions and pulling those and the energy out of my body uh, so that I could look at it again, you know, so hidden, 
I had this one experience where I was in my shower and a lot of my molestation happened in the shower actually. And mm -hmm. I had just, yeah. And uh, so I went in there and I was, I had just done a huge, huge clearing out of stuff. And, um, and I was washing my hands and I realized at my hands, I wasn't getting anything clean. And I looked down at my hands and they were coated in this thick white, like grease. And I couldn't, I had to scrape it off. And, and I'd scrape it and then I'd see more filling and coming out. It was secreting out of me. And I tried with soap, but soap just made it get thicker. And so then I had to, I always have Epsom salt in the shower. Uh, so I breached in and got a handful. And that was the only thing that would scrub that off. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, when I went for my next physical, my cholesterol levels were way down. They were like right down into the normal. So mm -hmm. cholesterol is a result of inflammation and inflammation is the result of your body holding things holding that stuff so it was yes. it, it was a direct and immediate and powerful you know release of physical matter as a result of energetic work looking at emotions stored emotion and memory so thank you so much yes thank you so yeah. much for sharing that because i'm sure there are many you know, many people that have experienced um, um, too many, too yes, and 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 healing, healing is yeah, healing, healing is here, and um, no one, <clears throat> you know, no one can really, no one can know what it's like unless <clears throat> you've you've experienced it, you know. But I really, I really think that's wonderful you sharing with us today because you're helping so many people realize that they can go forward and heal like you've done. And um, you're, you know, you've been a, a beautiful and courageous uh, spirit in oh, opposition to help others, which you are. Because today, what you've created with us being able to share is, is is a beautiful thing so uh, I'm so excited I I already can feel that others are going to be able to walk through that and work on themselves as well mm -hmm. so you, uh, we are getting to the end of our time and I just want to share with you guys a little bit this is these are how you can find Jean and work with her this is these are two of her websites that she run businesses that she runs um, she's on Facebook She's amazing. I have, I've been following her for a few years now and um, I have always loved everything that she puts out there. And I'm just so grateful today to Eugene. Thank you. Thank you. That Thank you so much. was amazing. I, my whole body is just like tingly and warm and I want to go meditate. And <laughs> it's just, oh, oh, feels great. You. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. taking time. Love to come lots. This, is, this has just been a really beautiful experience with you. And Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed another episode of our Tales, uh, Tales from the Path. And if you, if you think you've got a story that you want to share that will help people or, or you know, that others can relate to or connect with, or if, you, if you've got work that you think, let's get this out there, you know, I would love to have you on the show. So feel free to email me at healingpathwalkers at gmail.com uh, and check us out. You can join us on Facebook also. We do a lot of different things. There's an energy play tonight, Tuesday night, every night. We get together and on Zoom just like this. And we all feel whatever energy comes up. And just like how Jean took the opportunity and said, okay, what are your sensations in your body? What are your whatever? You know, let's, let's pull that up and out. That's kind of what we do in energy play. You never know what will happen. It could be me leading it. It could be somebody else leading it. So feel free to join us for that on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. in Pacific time. And look on the channel. We've got meditations. There's some talks. Um, I just took a video of at the Clackamas River where I was uh, yesterday work meditating and spending some beautiful time at the river. And a whole 
gigantic flock of Canadian geese and their goslings all came out around me and uh, were laying, you know, like four feet away from me. <laughs> and it was amazing. So there's that video up there. Just explore. And like always, I, I offer you to take the moment right now to become present in now. Try to stay in the now whenever you can. Because the more we spend outside of the now, we're just spreading ourselves out and dissipating our own energy and our own life force. We are beings that exist in this moment. So try to find your way back into this moment. And I hope this helped. Thank you again, Jean. Thank you, Jesse. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Ooh, just, oh, just Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>